So we have a new flagship contender from Realme. This is the GT2 Pro, a really nice spec sheet, completely new finish, which they claim is paper-like, mimicking the texture of paper. Also some kind of environmental benefits to this process they're using, a reduction in all types of waste products. They worked with a designer that they've worked with in the past. Naoto Fukasawa. So last time they did the GT series, at least the last one I remember looking at, it was this sort of luggage inspired leather like texture. Now we have a paper like texture going on. These are the top end spec 3216 pixels by 1440 for an effective PPI of 525. It is a 120 hertz adaptive refresh rate display and it has Gorilla Glass Victus on it. The material on the back, they're calling it a biopolymer. And this material is where a lot of the focus of that design relationship with Fukusawa went. The chip flagship all the way Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 5G processor. It has a very large vapor cooling area, 36,761 millimeters squared of total heat dissipation. The primary camera is a 50 megapixel Sony IMX 766 with optical image stabilization and electronic image stabilization. 150 degree ultra wide camera. That's the one that's capable of that fisheye effect if you want it. And there's also a 40X micro lens, 65 watt charging and a very large 5,000 milliamp hour battery. Checking a lot of boxes here especially at this price point, as far as I can tell, compared to uh, other flagship offerings. It's a, it's a pretty flagship spec list. Oh, I now know what they're talking about. Yeah, like a, I mean, if that's a paper, that's a high-end paper. It's kind of like a fabric, to be honest. It's a matte finish. It's gonna be very fingerprint resistant. It's, it's fairly pleasing to touch. The color is also nice, this kind of pastel green. Here we can see our camera section. 50 megapixel on the main camera. You also have a very wide 150 degree field of view capable of fisheye photos. A slight texture is also on the power switch. Volume rocker is over on the other side. We have the signature section up here as well and a slightly different texture in that region. Bottom of the device is where you find your SIM tray as well as your USB type C slot, which is capable of that fast charging. So super dart charging, 65 watt, very fast. They've also included a signature case. So this is the white one. It's a white that I like actually. It definitely trends more into the cool tones. This one does a better job, at least visually, of mimicking paper. It's almost like a tiny microscopic herringbone pattern going on in there. It definitely has a premium feel to it. Premium spec sheet. It's different. I've seen other finishes, glossy finishes all over the place. This is a new option that they've uh, been able to generate here where it kind of tricks your mind. You're not necessarily certain based on a texture, what kind of a material you're touching, which is, it's, uh, it's, it's a little bit novel compared to some of the other surfaces that are out there. I don't know about you guys, which one you're partial to. If you had to decide down in the comments, do you go for this nice muted green color or do you go for the white one? I don't know, there's something about this white that I also like. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually boot this one up first. This actually gives us a much better look at how they've implemented the front facing camera. They've stuck it up in the corner here, kind of out of the way. The other thing you notice here, how symmetrical the bezel is uh, from the chin around to the sides and up along top. Display settings, by default, it's in an auto select mode so it can select the best refresh based on the application or situation. There's a high mode which will lock it at 120 hertz for the smoothest operation. And then there's a standard mode in order to conserve battery which is gonna lock the display refresh at 60 hertz. I'm gonna leave it at 120 for now. And then screen resolution out of the box is FHD plus 2412 by 1080 but of course it has many more pixels to work with. If you choose to utilize them, you can go up to QHD plus for 3216 by 1440 pixels. This is for those that like to hold their phone a couple of inches from their face. I'm gonna pull over a little, tiny little prop here and grab a shot in 1X and then in the zoom here. You can see it's grabbing the face on the character. And then here is our 0.6 ultra wide. 
which is a tremendously wide field of view. Now, what if we want to uh, zoom in a little bit further? Yeah, no problemo there as well. Obviously, there's many megapixels to work with anyhow. 10-bit color option. There's a night mode built in. We have focus lock, high efficiency video mode, all the way up to 8K capable of shooting 8K video. Uh, for the purpose of this test, we'll do 4K and we'll do it at 60 frames. How about that? This is your 60 frame 4K video sample and the audio is coming through the microphone on the device as I'm using it. Let's see if it can focus on this $1 bill. 4K, 60 frames. Ooh, that's a lot of detail. Whoa, look at the detail on the bill. 50 megapixel Zelda cartridge. Ooh, check the detail on the label. Come on, Mo, you picked that up or what? You picked that up or what? Cool. 150 degree, here is a unique feature. So you can use this ultra wide camera to create this fisheye effect. Dynamic. Don't you wanna post that on social media? Actually, it's pretty cool. Actually, it's a pretty cool. He's telling you to post it. It's actually it came out. I did, it was very, it was a quick, it was a quick shot. But yeah, you can, oh my God, you can do the whole like tiny, tiny the, the whole tiny. Oh, cool. You can do the whole tiny as well if you want. Oh, oh, and this is the other new one, microscope mode. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Are you seeing this? Here is a sample of microscope video and a simple, one dollar bill. 40X, stop it. Good Lord, they look like hairs. The paper fibers look, show up like hairs. Are they seeing that? Yeah, look at us amused by microscopes, but sure, when they're on a smartphone, you might actually use it and experiment. And I like bugs. You know, you see like a potato bugs. You know the one I'm talking about? It's like it's wearing armor. You find it at the toilet or something like that. But they're slow. They're so, oh, yeah. you're not even scared because they're so slow. Anyway, that potato bug, I want to see what he looks like under the microscope. So there you have it. It's the new Realme GT2 Pro, a real flagship spec sheet from Realme with this brand new finish kind of paper texture on the back. Uh, you have up to 8K video, the latest Snapdragon, up to 12 gigs RAM, plenty of pixels on the front, 65 watt fast charging, 5,000 milliamp hour battery. And my question remains, would you go for the paper-like finish on the muted green, or would you go for this nice cool tone on the white? Which one would you choose? Let me know down in the comments. We got Japanese steel, 800 years of experience single beveled edge used this right here used by actual michelin star chefs the company's called kamikoto kamikoto easy well yeah we have a tomato we're gonna slice a tomato look at the box here that's a wood box seems like it oh look at these look at these knives we hereby certify that this blade has been handcrafted from high quality steel from Hanshu. This blade has been formed using traditional techniques handed down through generations of craftsmen. Listen, they take it real serious. There's no goofing around. It's all types of tradition that are in there. And it's meeting the needs of a real chef like yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can smell the uh, classical tradition. Let's feel. Oh, 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 oh. Well, well balanced. Each blade is crafted using techniques that have been honed and perfected by generations of oh, knife smiths. Oh, 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 oh. They only use steel sourced from mills in Japan, from prefectures of Niigata, have an Ibraki, type of and thing. Kanagawa. Craftsmanship? You gotta have an appreciation for that. Each Kamakoto knife goes through a rigorous 19 step process that takes several years from start to finish to complete. With more than 100 years of experience between them, their expert bladesmiths forge and shape raw steel into hardy blades, polishing and sharpening them to an excruciatingly fine edge. Now here's the cool part for you. 
Kamakoto's gonna give you a discount just for being an Unbox Therapy fan, $50 USD off of any order. All you have to do is put Unbox Therapy as a discount code when you go to buy some of these beautiful knives. This is a major upgrade. This is some special stuff. You got Willie Do slicing paper thin tomatoes over here. This is the type of thing that's gonna encourage you to cook. Like you're gonna wanna grab these and put something together. It's a very confidence inspiring thing to pick up the right tool for the job. And that's what we have here. So head over to the link in the description. Thank you very much to Kamakoto for sponsoring this episode. Who's supposed to cut this way? Away from you. Yeah, go ahead. With the, see that how the bevel is that way? I don't think.